From the 1st of February 2024, your email marketing landscape is about to change, but this is a good thing. Google and Yahoo recently announced new guidelines that go live on the 1st of February 2024. So, this will impact anyone emailing Gmail accounts, businesses who use Google Workspace, or consumers using a Yahoo mailbox. Senders who don't follow the new standards may start to see their bounces increase through rejections. So, it's best to make sure you get everything in place before the new standards go live. Here is what you need to know and what you need to have in place by the 1st of February 2024. An SPF record. This is a bit of text that lives behind the scenes on your company domain name. It contains a list of servers that are authorised to send emails on behalf of your company. So. If you are using an email marketing platform or any third party to send emails such as Office 365, you need to make sure that your company domain name includes the IP addresses of every email server that sends emails on behalf of your company. Your service provider will be able to provide you with the correct SPF records to add. Thankfully though, it's just a copy and paste job with a cup of coffee. It's quick and easy. A DKIM key or domain keys identified mail. This is a cryptographic key that is used to detect and prevent email spoofing and phishing. Basically, it's a seal of authenticity that certifies that your email has not been tampered with and you are who you say you are. Again, this involves making a small update behind the scenes to your company domain name. The DKIM key will be added to your DNS server, which is then cross-referenced by inbox providers when you send an email to check that it's legitimate. Thankfully, your service provider does all the hard work by signing your outgoing emails for you. You just need to make sure you've copied and pasted the key that they provide onto your company's domain name server. Spam complaints. Now these must be below 0.3%. This means that if Google receives as few as 15 spam complaints for every 5,000 people to your email, then your company domain name could be added to a block list. Now, when this happens, you will get a straight rejection when emailing users with a Google or Gmail mailbox. One click unsubscribe. Marketing messages and subscribe messages must support a one click unsubscribe and include a clearly visible unsubscribe link in the message body. Okay, these are the four main changes that will impact senders, but if you're sending over 5,000 emails a day, Google will class you as a bulk sender and ask that you also publish a DMARC policy. DMARC is pretty much a reporting mechanism. So, if your email fouls the SPF and DKIM checks discussed above, then the failure is then reported back to your organization's web team. This is something that was traditionally used by big brands to alert them and prevent phishing attacks and protect their brand reputation. Now, Google and Yahoo want every bulk sender to use DMARC2. But again, like SPF and DKIM, this involves making a small text update to your domain's DNS server. It may sound daunting, but it's well worth taking the time to set everything up. This will help ensure you maintain great delivery and engagement with your email marketing. Plus, your service provider will do most of the hard work for you. For example, if you are an Email Blaster user, we provide you with a PDF download that contains everything that you need to know. Hopefully, it's just a copy and paste job. Email Blaster will then check your domain name after you've made the updates, just to double check that everything's in place and looks the way it should do. Okay, thanks for watching. That's everything you need to know on the new Google and Yahoo updates that go into effect on the 1st of February, 2024.